Hey learners, this is your teacher Dr. Anam and today we are going to study about the cell theory. The three parts of cell theory are all organisms are made up of one or more cells. All cells arise from pre-existing cells. Cell is the structural and functional unit of life. These are the three points which are included in the cell theory. Let's study one by one. The first point, all organisms are made up of one or more cell. We know cell is the unit of life and cell organelles floating in the cytoplasm are wrapped by the cell membrane to form a compact structure of the cell. If we talk about the organisms, there are two types of organisms. One is unicellular which means they are made up of one cell. The other one are multicellular means they are made up of more than one cell. Here the example of unicellular organism is amoeba and paramecium. While multicellular organisms, horse, tree, human, mouse and all the other high level organisms, they are multicellular organisms. So all these organisms, they are made up of cells. The second part of cell theory is that all cells, they arise from pre-existing cells. New cells originate by the division of pre-existing cells. In this diagram, we have this one cell. And after the cell division, this one cell is converted into two cells. It means new cell is formed from the pre-existing cell. If this cell is absent, the new cell, it will not form. No cell can generate spontaneously from organic or inorganic matter. The third part is cell is the functional and structural unit of life. When we talk about functional unit, we know that there are so many organelles present in a cell which performs several functions. For example, nucleus it stores DNA and control cellular function. Similarly, cell membrane or plasma membrane, it controls the movement of molecules in and out of the cell. Then cytoplasm which is a site for the cellular processes mitochondria which provide cells with the energy golgi bodies which are responsible for the transportation of protein so all these functions they are performed by the cell that is why we are saying that cell is a functional unit now coming towards the second part which is structural unit when we talk about the structural unit, it means that cells, they combine to form different structures. For example, when the cells, they combine together, they form tissues. Different types of tissues, they combine together to form organs. Organs, they combine to form organ system. And organ systems, they combine together to form an organism. For example, in this case, it is human. It is just like we have different bricks and then bricks they are combined together to form walls. Walls they are combined together to form rooms. Rooms they are combined together to form a complete house. So that was all about the three main parts of the cell theory which were proposed by the Sheldon and Schwann in 1839.